The report of the expert group um, set up to review the Mental Health Act 2001 was published in 2015. The report contains 165 recommendations, including provisions which are intended to strengthen the protections for people who are detained without consent in approved centres. In June 2016, then Minister for Health Helen McAtee stated the draft legislation would be completed by the end of that year. In July 2019, a draft heads of bill was sent to the Mental Health Commission for their consideration with a six-month turnaround. In just the last few months, parliamentary questions from some of my Dáil colleagues indicate that the department advised it was currently preparing a final draft heads of bill on a part-by-part -part basis with a view to finalising the draft bill by the end of 2020. Minister, by any metric, that is an incredibly unsatisfactory timeline in the development of legislation that is so, so badly needed. Since the delays date back over five years, we cannot now lay this at the door of COVID-19. And your statement today um, says that we will receive the Act soon. Numerous dates have been given for publication of the draft legislation and none of them have been met. These delays are highly problematic given the lengthy duration of the review of the Act to date and the seriousness of the gaps in human rights protections for adults and children receiving inpatient mental health treatment. Now, in 2018, the Mental Health Amendment Act was successfully put before the Dáil, but that Act has never been commenced. As the mental health community waits for the fully revised mental health legislation, and we have waited for more than five years now to be produced, can the department or the minister consider commencing at least some limited aspects of the 2018 Act? For example, we currently have no definition of what constitutes a voluntary patient um, in our mental health services. This has created a grey area where a person's right to reviews and tribunals is not clearly set out in law, leaving already vulnerable people even more vulnerable in a system that is still underfunded and lacking in supports. So my questions are as follows. Could we have a timeline on the development of the fully revised Mental Health Act? Can we get a, a, a date, a certain date for the completion of the revision of um, the full 2001 Act, even if that date is slightly further out than we would like? Um, and can the Department and the Minister consider commencing some limited sections of the 2018 Act in the meantime? In relation to um, the issues um, in relation to, to, the, to the, the, the Mental Health Act 2001, this is a hugely, hugely complex piece of legislation and a huge amount of work um, is undergoing at the moment. I have discussed it with the Attorney General and we will be moving it very, very shortly, um, Deputy. It's not feasible to bring forward certain sections in advance of others. Regardless, we are almost at a point of being able to publish the heads of the bill and we will be doing that, as I said, very, very shortly. And I'm hoping that she will get um, the support in the House in due course.